July 1st at 17 o'clock, the new Jack Mania game was released, and what a release it was. From trying to covering it, I'm all <laughs> exhausted today, trying to update every uh, Twitch uh, stream, and let's be honest, that was impossible with over 400 different channels streaming it at the highest peak. I have no idea how many different uh, channels overall streamed it, maybe guess randomly thousand uh, different channels, so... It was a lot of content yesterday, and that is something that we hopefully will see in the future as well. But let's try to recap the day one of the new Jackmania and how the release was viewed from the hardcore community, the biggest streamers, and the casual community. If we talk about the positive things first, then the main positive thing, in, at least in my eyes, is that the game got a lot of views, a lot of big numbers, and then obviously from the big streamers. Jackmania reached uh, sixth, uh, uh, being the sixth most watched game on uh, Twitch. It had, it was pro pretty much top ten the whole day. Uh, the peak at 150,000 viewers, and was also there pretty much around 100,000 plus the whole day. And that is crazy, crazy numbers once you talk about a Jackmania game. And the reason behind these numbers is because, for once, you didn't only have the big streamers from France streaming it, but now you also reach outside France and outside Europe. Uh, the biggest streamer with was XQC with over 40,000 viewers, then you had Serrator of course, being with 30,000 viewers, uh, and then Solar Popping and Lyric also streamed it. You had like a guy from the Sidemen, Circa, streaming it. And then, of course, the French, what's the date, streaming group with Sardosh, uh, Domingo, Cole Jr., Etoile, Wingo Bear, etc, etc. So, all of them st all the streamers showcasing the game got that this game reached numbers, at least I have not seen uh, in a very long time. I don't think I've ever seen numbers like this. And we did a little prediction on the Let's Talk Track Mania podcast about how many different streams was going to showcase it. I believe Scott is at 50. I said I think 500, because I'm optimistic, but it seems like in the end, the optimistic guy won with peaking at 400 different channels. So that is not only big streamers showcasing the game because maybe they get paid to do it, but now it was a lot of hype from people just wanted to test it out and show it to their friends and just hope that those maybe streamers that didn't get their viewers at all a lot of streams with one to zero views. I hope they will continue streaming it just because they have fun and eventually maybe they also get some numbers. I asked Virtual about it and I asked if he could see like what name three streamers you want to see. I believe he said XQC, Soda Poppin and Lyric. So he got what he wanted as Pack, who he wanted to see. He said the Sidemen and then Circa being the best. He got what he wanted. So yesterday is unbelievable. It's, it's so insane to see what is happening. We have been a small game for such a long time uh, and we, as a small community, is wondering what this game can bring. Can this be like the big break for Trackmania? Can it become casual? Or will this game maybe be a bad review and then eventually somewhat kill the game? And now, for now, I think it's pretty safe to say that this looks more to be like a casual mainstream game instead of dying out because it was one of the most fun games I have, or one of the most fun days I have had from covering Checkmania, and I just hope that e each day will maybe be as busy as yesterday because then we're gonna have fun. Some small problems with online servers. Uh, some people spoke about they didn't have that online experience that they wanted. Uh, some people saying that they want Camp Three back. Uh, and other small problems within the game. But overall, I asked on Twitter yesterday how the feelings about the new game was. Did it live up to expectations? And the main part said yes, so that is good to see. Also, some problems with the Epic Games. Uh, people couldn't launch the game from there, but they also said that today they have uh, fixed it. Looking to the future, I'm trying to recap day one here, but of course, the release date is one thing that can be a success, but for this game to actually be a success over a longer time, then we need something for fans to stick around, we need something for players to stick around, uh, and that is something I think we have now. We have a lot of streamers that can stick around, we of course have the likes of Riolo, the likes of Spam, Virtual, who is a perfect platform for new fans to bump into, learn about the game, and then 
eventually become a fan of Jack Mania. I'm not sure how, let's say, the ranking system is going to attract new players. We haven't seen that in work yet, so that is something I will catch up to later. But for now, I think the, let's say, the main English streamers, which is real low spam, virtual, they reached good numbers yesterday. Not crazy, crazy numbers. I'm not sure if they're even, it's the peak. But they got numbers, they got more attention, and I think those numbers will actually just grow and grow for every day that goes, because I don't think Solo Popping is going to stream every day, I don't think XQC is going to stream every day, but maybe some of the people that tuned into those channels still want to watch Trackmania, they will go to Trackmania on Twitch, and then maybe see that one of the top English channels is real, or it's spam, it's virtual, or someone else, uh, so... I do. I am positive about the future, uh, and I am positive for about the future for the game, uh, the community, but also for the streamers there. A lot of streamers that is maybe below them in terms of popularity didn't get the big numbers. I saw them average about 20 viewers, but I also think that is going to change because once again, yesterday it was 400 different channels you can choose from. I don't think that is going to be an everyday situation in Trackmania. I hope, but I don't think it's gonna be the case. And then, if you are a Jackmania streamer, then it will be easier for new fans to find you and maybe you will actually have more people watching you. But if there is something to change, I think Ubisoft and Dale should listen to the hardcore fans and I think they are getting better and better at doing it. Uh, people bringing up Cam 3 as something they wanna change and it seems like maybe that is gonna change pretty soon as well. But that is the recap of day one uh, and somewhat of a potential looking into the future. But I will recap what is going on in Jackmania. I've done it now for two years. So if you don't have a channel where you can stay up to date with, well, follow this channel. 98% of or 89% of the viewers on this channel are not subscribers. So feel free to press subscribe and I will bring Jackmania news to you both from the new game, but also from the eSports scene, interviews with all relevant uh, profiles in the scene. Now, a couple of clips that I found funny on day one, and yeah, stay tuned and enjoy the new Jackmania. I'm the best gamer in the world! The noise when you get super speedy is so sexy. Alright, ease it in, ease it, ease. You fuck! It does look so much faster and so doable that if I nail the rest of the map, we should get world record with this. Alright, so now, just don't, not too fast. Ah, okay, 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 it's the, it's the timing. I was too early most of the time. Boys, this is a pog and run, we could get it here. Keep the pace. And oh, fifty four oh seven. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is a world record. The f <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, reactor boost. Zoop. Oh, no way, this is cool. Where am I going? Sweden! <laughs> Where do you go, actually? 